Hello everyone, Flyover here and welcome to the new tutorial video about Garmin G1000 NXI and in today's video actually I'm gonna show you just very short how to uh, create a hold, how to enter hold and how to exit hold and as you can see we are here on our familiar ro route, route, whatever, <laughs> route we are on our familiar route uh, from the previous video and before that too so it's the same route and I'm going to create hold at waypoint monid we are approximately let's say how much uh, 18 nautical miles away from monid so let's create a hold at monid and let's fly there let's see what will happen and then let's learn how to exit the hold so to create a hold for example ATC will tell you what what can be the reason to uh, actually uh, enter the hold it can be a traffic that ATC will tell you okay enter hold and wait here or I don't know you can be too high and you need to lose your altitude so you will enter hold lose your altitude and then continue on flight plan whatever Anyway, can be million reason why you need to enter hold. You probably won't need that that much, but it is good to know. So what we're going to do, actually, we're going to set our cursor at the waypoint where we want to create hold. We're going to press menu and then we scroll down here to say hold at waypoint press enter and now we will need to enter some information uh, first of all it's the course of the hold so hold south of monid and now let's see uh, course will be 356 we are actually at 356 course so actually it will be parallel hold with our uh, course so that that is totally okay let's move further uh, inbound uh, will it be inbound or outbound that one usually ATC will tell you or you will see in the chart but let's leave for inbound uh, default time for a one leg in hold is one minute so we're gonna keep it one minute but you can make bigger hold or uh, smaller hold if you want and turn direction we're going to put right so we will turn like here and enter hold and back and like that so it's going to be right i will leave everything as it is and now just press load and press enter and there you go we have created a hold in the monid see now that hold is actually on course 356 if we put any other course it will be like this or it's gonna be like this whatever but we created parallel with our course so we're gonna enter that hold and then we're gonna circle in that hold uh, indefinitely until we break so see we have hold here and that is uh, gray that means there is no further you are holding that's it after monid you will enter hold and that's it you will hold you will circle indefinitely until you tell gps to go out so uh, let's actually see what is going to be it is 9.6 miles let's zoom that in a bit and let's see actually what is going to be when we enter the hold and how aircraft will behave we just wait for a while it is only two minutes i believe yes it is only two minutes until monet so like i said uh while we're waiting uh, i will just tell you certain things uh so like i said to enter a hold, it can be million reasons. It can be that ATC tell you, okay, you have traffic, give advance to the traffic, enter the hold and wait your turn for approach. It can be that one. It can be that you have uh, you have missed approach and you need to enter hold in designated by the chart in some designated waypoint. You need to enter hold and wait further instruction for ATC. Or, uh, like I said, it can be that you are at too high altitude and you need to lose your altitude so you will enter hold and then you're gonna set up your altitude, you're gonna lose your altitude, let's say 6,000 feet, you're gonna go uh, in hold down to 6,000 feet and then you will continue on your 
flight plan as normal. So, like I said, it can be a million reasons why uh, we need a hole, but it's good to know that actually uh, G1000 have uh, that function and that you can use it for your purpose of your flight, right? So let's check our speed. Our speed is good. Our altitude is 12,000 feet and we are on route. And you can see here we are actually almost in the hold but this is not hold yet actually when we come to the moonid waypoint then we are going to enter the hold you will see it will become purple and we will circle in that hold like i said until we tell the gps okay now break the hold and continue on our route right so uh let's just let's just uh wait and let's see what is going to be when aircraft come to the monitor waypoint let's just monitor it is 25 seconds more and then we're gonna enter the hold you will see now very soon it's going to become purple there you go and we are in hold okay so as you can see now we are in the hold pattern and uh, we are going to circle in that hold until we tell aircraft to break it now you can break the hold in uh, any point for example you can just uh, enter the hold and come let's say like this like here and uh, ATC will tell you okay continue uh, your file plan and you're gonna break the hold and we're gonna continue our flight plan or it can be after you exit the hold actually here you will continue your flight plan whatever uh, it is totally up to uh, either ATC or either you how you gonna exit your hold but uh, how to exit the hold actually if uh, we come here to the hold and if we press uh, menu we have only edit hold we can edit that hold if it's not good if you're not satisfied if you want bigger hold or something you can come here and press enter and you can edit your hold you can uh, increase if we increase this time to two minutes it will extend the hold so it will be longer it will be longer here more stretched you know or if we change the course then it will uh, go a different way that depends but we don't want actually edit this hold we won't actually break the hold so we want to actually uh, continue our uh, route, right? So let's say we want to continue our flight plan. We don't want to be in hold anymore. What we can do actually, uh, there is no exit hold button here. It doesn't exist. Uh, you can actually, what you can do, you can uh, press, press clear and remove hold and that is fine you can remove hold but we won't do that because uh, maybe you're gonna need it maybe you change your mind or whatever so we won't remove hold but what we can do we can go to the next uh, waypoint that is Rudik and we can press here activate lag and it's going to activate lag from Monit to Rudik so if I press here enter and say activate you see that this leg become purple and uh, let's look now what is going to be aircraft will continue flying until aligned to that leg as you can see here see that there is deviation in the needle in the gps needle and aircraft will continue flying until uh, this align again with our course so let's just wait 
let's let's actually uh, put like this and let's monitor both screens so you can see that this uh, needle already coming closer and closer as we are aligning with that line with our course so what is going to be aircraft will just align itself with the gps course and it's gonna continue following the course further let's just wait see we are actually out of boundaries for hold but we are capturing our gps and now we're gonna make a right turn We are turning, right? And we're gonna uh, capture that... Uh, capture that route. The truth is we pass this, but uh, it will... It will uh, go there. It will capture. Just wait. Of course, if that is too slow for you, what you can do is super easy. You can switch to heading and you can navigate your aircraft to the proper. But see, actually, it will capture by itself, it will fix. But like I said, uh, it's not almighty of course GPS is not almighty so what you can do is actually uh, put your heading that is the smartest actually uh, what you can do is navigate your heading like a 45 angle to this uh, to that uh, thing and just go to your heading mode and uh, when it's aligned with the course When these needles align, you can actually adjust your heading to less and less angle. And then you can switch to GPS after after that needle is almost captured and you can see that we are actually on our course so what we are doing now we are aligning with the course and we are continuing further to our flight plan so it is like that there is no proper way to exit hold you need to uh, either use heading or you can uh, just let aircraft to find his way to the GPS route, but it is always better to uh, help him with the heading. It is better because it's faster and also it look much prettier on the on the ATC screen. So that's it for today. Very short tutorial, <laughs> like I said. But uh, there is also few more things that I want to cover with this uh, G1000 and that is uh, VOR to VOR navigation so that is something that we may cover actually in the next video but we won't be on this route we will uh, pick another route for that maybe even do a full flight or something so I want to show you how to navigate from VOR to VOR uh, how to navigate uh, with NDBs and actually how to how to actually uh, perform approach with uh, without gps with only uh, vor to vor so that is all what actually g1000 is capable to do actually not only g1000 but actually any aircraft which have uh, nav 1 and nav 2 and adf navigation so yeah I will continue with this tutorial a little bit more as long as I have ideas and I hope it is useful for you and yeah thank you very much for watching and by the way one more thing uh, 
uh, as you may see i create a discord channel so if you are interested there is nobody there only me and the bots so i create discord channel if you are interested you may join be welcome to join i will be happy to see you and also we can talk there and you can ask different questions if i'm available and i have time i will be more than happy to help you to answer all of your questions if you have anything to ask regarding the flying in general uh, i can help you with whatever so i hope that we gonna create some small community or maybe no, not small maybe later it's gonna be big but i hope that we're gonna create some community where we can share actually our experiences and help each other and maybe like some there is always somebody uh, who knows something that others don't so yeah that's the point actually to share knowledge okay thank you very much for watching and if you want you can just click down in the link and join uh, my discord channel and yeah, happy flying. Bye.